What's good gamers, I'm Sean Fox, you're watching PlayStation News Now, your source of news, rumour, reviews and video game discussion. It is Wednesday, February 17. In today's video, fanboys on all platforms going to a frenzy over console exclusives, PlayStation VR Holiday 2016 launch rumours and Crash Bandicoot may be preparing for a comeback, but more on that later. First, PlayStation VR virtual reality for PlayStation. It's a virtual reality that we don't have a release date yet. Sony were targeting a first quarter, second quarter release, but that doesn't seem to be a reality right now. So the big rumor is a full release, but Sony have quickly shut it down virtually. GameStop CEO Paul Raines Speaking to Fox News, Rain said that the company expects to start shipping PlayStation VR in the fall. However, Sony has given a little bit of clarification in a simple statement response. Here's a quote. GameStop were speculating and we have not released any further details on launch timing. A Sony representative responded via email. Now, the last time Sony said anything, was to reaffirm that PlayStation VR will be out in the first half of the year. So nobody's much closer to knowing when PlayStation VR will hit retail. Hmm. In other news, it's been a while since Sony deployed a significant PlayStation 4 system firmware update and many people are still waiting on key features such as ID name change, external, hard drive support and a slew of other last generation features. However, the wait may be over sooner than you think. Sony are offering users the chance to sign up for their version of Microsoft's Xbox One preview program, also known as the next PlayStation 4 system software beta, where you can get an early look at the new features coming to PlayStation 4 soon. So last September, Sony put a call out to PlayStation 4 owners to test the next system update. And since we're all getting close to the release of the next system software update for PlayStation 4, Sony needs guinea pigs. Yeah, starting today, you can sign up for the beta and be a tester and get a sneak peek at some of the features making their way to your PlayStation 4. Now, the beta will kick off in early March, and if you're part of it, you'll receive an email with instructions on downloading the system software. And you can roll back to the previous system software anytime, so don't worry about downloading the beta. Now, in order to sign up, you'll need a PlayStation 4 console, obviously, with an internet connection and a master account. Sony will share more details on which features you'll be able to test when the beta begins, but expect leaks and expect PlayStation News Now to be reporting on them. Sony will be monitoring the forums throughout the beta and reiterated that they won't always be able to implement changes suggested by the community, but feedback is really valuable to them. And he's more of a comeback kid than Rocky Balboa. Crash Bandicoot, PlayStation 4 rumors just refuse to die down. And as the old saying goes, there's no smoke without fire. Now, could Sony be gearing up for a grand reveal at this year's E3? Chances are good, but in this industry, anything can happen. But always watch this space. Now, which of Sony's big first party studios would you like to see working on Crash Bandicoot? And what form will it take? Classic 3D platform adventuring? Or would you like it modeled on the old style PlayStation 1 3D into the screen? Now, obviously, Crash Bandicoot is owned by Activision. We don't know the ins and outs of the deal, but certainly something is bubbling in the pot over at Sony on all things Crash Bandicoot related. Keep it locked to PlayStation News now. Now, before we go, I just want to discuss a couple of things. Uh, ever since Quantum Break has been released, uh, or announced to be released on the PC. You just, uh, I noticed a lot of PlayStation fanboys just can't, just, they, they just, oh. Sometimes they're worse than Xbox fanboys. Just rabbiting on all day long, talking about how it's not worth getting an Xbox now, or as if everyone owns a powerful PC, suddenly Xbox One is redundant, and there's no exclusives on the platform, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that, and suddenly all these PlayStation 4 owners and Xbox One owners own a super powerful nuclear powered PC, when in reality we all know they don't, they're just saying it to rub salt in the wounds. Let me say, to me personally, it doesn't matter, if Xbox games are going to the PC. Why? Because I only own a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and damn for sure, the Xbox One games won't work on my PlayStation 4, and I don't own a PC powerful enough to do any games justice. Hell, I can barely run Solitaire. 
So any Xbox One games that come out, console exclusive or not, will definitely still be an exclusive to me. So let's stop stoking the fire, fanboys on PlayStation, fanboys on Xbox, and PC Master Race. You're getting the game, Microsoft have granted you that. Be happy and stop kicking the old dogs when they're down. And finally, I would like to upload a lot more videos during the month of February and March, but unfortunately I'm having an operation early March and I may be in hospital for some time. I'm having an operation on my spine. Yes, very tricky indeed. Uh, so wish me luck on that. But of course I will be uploading and I'll never let a week go by without a video being put up on this channel. So between then, now, you will get lots of videos. I'm going into overflow before I go into hospital. That's because I know that uh, three or four days, there won't be any videos. But I'll let you know closer to the time. Bringing us to the end of another video. If you enjoyed this content, poke the like button. Thanks to everybody sharing the videos, helping us reach more PlayStation fans. And subscribe for more PlayStation news, rumor, and reviews. Until next time, play games, not corporations. Thanks for watching.